There are two ways to add students to a Moodle site here at the University of Minnesota. And you can also use this to add faculty members or to add designers to your course. First, access your course. Once you're in your course, click Users and click Enrollment Methods. Here you'll be able to see primarily two groups. The other two have not been enabled for UMN courses. So you'll see manually enrolled students or just participants in general and UMN out of enrollment, which will be only students. For manual enrollment, if you want to add somebody manually, click the plus sign, type in the person you want to add. In this case, I'll type my student ID, for example, and it'll show up. To add somebody, just click the role that you want to give them. In this case, I want to give this other person, which is my student account, designer access for an unlimited time, and then I click Add. Now, I could access this course as Alfonso Sinjago, not only as SSWITF or SSUPU ATEL, and with all three accounts, I'll be able to modify it as a designer. The other enrollment method, click again, enrollment methods, is auto enrollment. Click on the two little persons or the group of individuals, and then you'll see here what courses are linked through PeopleSoft in my account. And because I'm a designer, I actually don't have any courses here, and the only one that I have here is not mine, so I cannot remove it. But as an instructor here, you'll see a list of the courses that you are teaching this semester and the different students by course and section, term, and you'll be able to remove or add them. In this case, they're already added, and I don't have the administrative rights to remove them. But once you either add them or remove them, as an instructor, click Update Course Enrollment. Don't forget to click Update Course Enrollment as that will finalize the changes. Once they are added, if they hadn't been added already, you can add a whole section with just one click. It'll sync your Moodle site to PeopleSoft. The nice thing about that is then if a student then drops out of your course in through registration, they'll be automatically dropped from your Moodle site. So it automatically syncs with Moodle and, and, and PeopleSoft. They both sync together, allowing you to not have to worry about dropping or adding individual students as they drop or add your course through the registration, course registration site. So that is uh, the best way to, to make sure that everybody's enrolled. However, sometimes we have to manually enroll another additional students, participants, instructors. Like I showed you before, in that one case, I, I added myself an instructor uh, as a designer in this course. Um, and you have here the different ways you can add an additional participant to this course. Thanks, I hope that was helpful.